Hi, Ross here from Biker Talk. One of the things I really love about motorcycling is the social aspect. I love it when I go for a ride with a group of mates, we arrive at our destination, grab a coffee, and catch up talking about our families, the footy, and our bikes, but not always in that order. This channel is really just another part of that, where I get to catch up with fellow riders and talk about motorcycles. And I'm happy to say that with modern technology, I can now catch up with fellow motorcyclists all over the world, grab a cup of tea or a beer and have a conversation. This video is the first in a series of Bike Talk virtual chats. Today I'm talking to Sean, who's in the UK, about his daily ride at M120 Sloper Panther. If you have a story to tell, get in touch so we can have a cuppa and have a chat. I'll be putting out a new video every Thursday, so if you like this video and would like to see more, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Hey Sean, uh, welcome to Biker Talk, mate. Thanks for joining me. So I've got a few little questions for you. Have a bit of a chat about uh, about your bikes, and in particular your uh, M120. I'm Sean. I'm 57. Been around bikes most of my life. I'm a postman. Been a postman for 31 years. Just sort of getting through it, I suppose, at the moment with with the weirdness of all everything going on. We haven't stopped working because I've uh, been being key workers so it hasn't really changed that much it's got better actually the last year has been superb for traffic um that's slowly that, that's slowly get, that's slowly getting ruined again now with all the people going back to school and work i've done a bit of all of it uh, i used to commute on my bikes all the time my pants are broke in 2012 i hill climbed it at a hot rod meeting and i blew the base gasket so it was pouring oil so it came off the road in 2012 and I built a race bike to race on Pendine Sands using parts from my road bike and an engine that a friend tuned up, um, a Model 100 engine. I raced that at Pendine and then it wasn't until probably middle of last year that I decided to get my Panther back on the road and um, I got it back on the road and I've been commuting on it all winter. Eight years without a motorcycle on the road and then I go into full on snow and everything. Yeah, there's only one on the road at the moment, and that's the Panther. It's um, it's basically a 1963 M120. Um, I'd wanted a Panther. I bought my BSA when I was 18, and the guy I bought it off had a M100. And then about 20 odd years ago, um, I decided I didn't need to buy a whole Panther. I could just get an engine and a frame and build from there. But it turned out I managed to pick up um, a virtually complete M120. I run that in the swinging arm frame with Bonneville forks, uh, an AMC tank, and a series of different seats for a couple of years. And then a friend, um, he was over in London for a while. His wife was working here. And we, we met up and we chatted. And we talked about rigid panthers. He went back to Australia, discovered a couple of frames, and sold me a, a rear end, which is now on my bike. So it's now a rigid um, panther. Uh, I'm running Panther Forks, but it's got a Sportster tank, uh, 45, Harley 45 seat. Uh, I've had, had a friend bend me up some handlebars that are sort of the sort of thing you would have seen on a desert racer in California in the 50s. But that's all about to change again, um, as I've just set a brand new girder forks from a local girder guru called Jake Robbins. So I'm going to these uh, repro girders. They are based on the measurements and everything of a set of genuine Panther girders. Um, it's going to be running a twin leading shoe, Japanese front wheel. Um, it's never going to look stock because it, it's, yeah. it's always going to have a, a weird tank on it or a different set of bars. I've got a 1955 A7SS BSA. Um, I bought that when I was 18. That's what got sidelined a bit when I bought the Panther. Um, and then I chewed a shim on the crank, raced in a mate back from an auto jumble one day. And it's been on the bench waiting to be touched and i've got a indian scout which is basically a 741 engine with harley flywheels and conrods and fiat pistons squeezed into a junior scout frame that had the rear section modified to take the, the 741 gearbox and that's running japanese wheels and bsa forks uh, 1981 superbike magazine published an article on three guys who built uh, or two guys sorry that built these three bikes there was an aerial a Norton and this little M65 digger 
and I absolutely fell. 17 years old, I fell in love with this thing. Um, fast forward 30 years, and I get an email from Graham, one of the members of the Panther Club, and he said, I've just bought something blind um, for the motor. He said, and I, I thought you might like it. So he sent me a photo of this bike. So I sent, then sent him a scan of the original magazine article. And so you just bought the bike I fell in love with as, as a 17 year old. And Graham being Graham, he sat and thought about it. And then we done a deal. I had a M65 rigid in bits, very incomplete. And then we done a swap. So I've ended up with this little survival, bo survival bike that um, was something I lusted after after the 17 year old. Um, and I'm hoping over the next year or so to resurrect that and get it back out on the road again. It's a very con uh, contentious one, isn't it? Um, I don't like restored bikes myself. Um, I, I like to see things with with a bit of history, with a bit of look like they've lived a life. Um, and I really, really into specials. Anything that someone's taken and made it, tweaked it for their to suit them, whether it's to make it go faster or to make it handle better or just to fit an image in their head, um, which is basically what mine is. I'm, I'm, I'm really into sort of the early or well, the late thirties, forties American bobber scene and the cut down Harleys and the cut down Indians and things like that. That's probably where my custom bike interests really lay. And so that's hence when I, I, I wanted a Panther, but it had got to be a bobbed Panther. So um, that's it, hence the name Bobcat. It was just, I suppose it was just a sidecar hauler, wasn't it? And, and everyone wanted everyone wanted the glitter. Everyone wanted a Bonneville or a, a Velocet or a Gold Star. But I just thought they were quirky. I just, I just, it's, it's that damn great cylinder. You know, it just yeah. looks a lot bigger than it actually is. And once you've tamed one and you've got it running right, they are a peach to ride. I don't need to Key West. I've driven it. Um, I, I drove it several years ago and I just really fancy the run out across, across the bridges out to the, across the Keys would be really good. Or from Oregon down to Baja on the yeah. Pacific Coast Highway in California. Yeah. I've done some of that in a car and yeah. that is just a superb road to, yeah. to do on a bike. Hang around with old boys, you know, um, old timers chat to them, ride with them, because if they've lived that long, there's some things to pick up there, you know. I see some young riders today and, I, and it just makes me cringe yeah. when you see the way they, they go in traffic. And you just, I yeah. just think, you know, I've been riding, as I say, for probably 40 years, um, but I can't see many of them making it that long. Just take your time and, and hang around with people that have been doing it a long time and, and you should be able to pick up some, some life-saving tips. happy it's just freedom the freedom is just um i don't know it's, it's just when you're in a car you're just cocooned um but when you're on a bike you're out there with the, with everything the smells and you know you're, you're you're part of the weather you're part of the, 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 the your surroundings um it just makes you feel alive um yeah it's, it gives you something that you just can't get in four wheels i love the sound of the big singles it chugs down the road it's um you can't beat it so Sean, thanks for joining me on Biker Talk. It's been really great to have a chat. Good luck with the lockdowns in the UK and all the best, mate. Thank you. Cool, thank you. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you'd like to get involved, message me by the Biker Talk Facebook page. That's all for this week. And remember, you can't buy happiness, but you can ride a motorcycle. And that's kind of the same thing.